G'day, I'm BLX Ed, and welcome back to Gene Forge 5. Let's continue on where we left off. So, currently exploring through. Ooh, okay. That is. Aha, that's that Dracon from before. Let's be a little more careful this time. And, oh, I noticed I missed one of these. Um, I'm keen. I think I can take him out. I've got a feeling. Provided that podling doesn't come up and I avoid that thing down there. I have a feeling that I might be able to take him out. How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? Um, we'll drop a heel there. We'll come in. No, let's drop a... Protection on everyone. And let's take him out. Ah, oh, try to talk to him first. Ravas. The road is blocked by Dracon, blah blah blah. I've already spoken to him. Give me a second. Alrighty, I'm back. That was a hell of a sneeze on my end. Luckily you guys don't have to put up with that. I am going to go see Goldring. Here's my amulet. Doesn't look at it, but he nods. Perhaps he can sense the enchantment on the piece of jewellery. La, 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 la. I don't think I've read this before. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm sure he attacked me last time. I have heard of this. Goldring will parley with the enemy, trying to gain advantage. He is wise. I will return to Gazekius to say you are on the way. Then I will share in the credit for Goldring's victories. First, I must warn you. What is your warning? The creations on the road ahead have been alive too long. They are mad. They will ignore your amulets, I think. I should have eaten them myself, but I do not want to make the effort. Um, yeah, I've probably killed them all already, but you will gain more glory. The Dracon, much to its surprise, sees the logic in this. Yes, my orders are to prune their numbers anyway. I can gain glory at the same time. It is, uh, what is the word? Efficient. It says, follow. Then it turns and walks off. Okay, that was a bit of a waste of essence on my part. Don't see any enemies. Nope. Let's have a look down here. Uh, it's poddling. I'm going to get out of the way of that. Okay. Poddling. Come on. There we go. Gotcha. It's a strong poddling. really have much choice here other than to bunch up. Let's see if I can come around a bit further away. Unlikely to make much difference. So I think they've got a big area attack, but we'll see what happens. Yep, hit us all. Oh, it's no biggie. Yeah, there's more of them. Wow, how many are there? really strong enough to take these things out efficiently. Jeez, how many are there? Um, I think you guys can focus on that. Can I actually damage that? Nope, no flaming shrub damage. That was a waste of my...
Hmm, might have a problem here. Yep, we have ourselves a big problem. But I suspect I can probably take them all out. If I take rid of step one, we can get rid of this flaming shrub. Uh, if I keep everyone alive. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Oh, I think I'm going to lose this one. That was easy. Drop another group here. Well, there's no point hasting because they're just going to take the haste off me. So... I keep my people alive, which is more difficult than it sounds, but I wonder if actually if I spread out a bit more, like this, that may help to reduce some of the effect. I'm going to have to stand in the middle though so I can keep group healing everyone. No, it's making no difference. Oh no, it's protecting a couple of them. Uh, your turn. Yeah, this is not a good round. Not a good round at all. How about I try focus heal on you? It's more essence efficient, I think. misclick <laughs> paralyzed with fear okay Yeah, 13 left. He can be killed by the... What's it called? Ah, oh, I'll just kill him now. It's going to let light then kill him, but... Not going to make it. Yeah, made it. Well, that was thoroughly uninteresting as a battle. We have ourselves Shaka's Eye. Hmm, could be a, an interesting challenge here. I actually am going to push on. I'm not a huge fan of consistent battling in episodes because I think it drains some of the fun out of it. But... Let's see if we can take these out before they take off my haste. Nope, I would have liked a haste there. Okay, that was bad. Very bad. I have a sneaking suspicion that we're going to die here. Come on. One more. Done. Okay, that guy will still take our haste off, but I might be able to keep myself alive. Ah, uh, that's not good. Really not good.
Who is that? That is Cirrus 4. We may be seeing Cirrus 5 in the near future. Okay, can I get you from here? Doesn't do a lot of damage. Ooh, days. Okay. Um, not good. Who did we lose? We have Cirrus, we have Shamu, we have Mitsu, we have Alhoun, which means Sarah has finally gone down. My apologies, Sarah. Uh, let's have a look. What am I going to do? <sighs> Fire damage is decent. I'm going to want to... How am I going to keep everyone alive? Do some major healing spores to begin with. Yeah, it was pretty rubbish. Pretty rubbish. How about some speed spores on everyone? Actually, I wonder if curing spores will probably not. Let's instead do speed spores on everyone. And then we will do another heal. Yeah, not really doing much here. You get in close and start chomping him. That might take some of the... distract him a little bit. Oh, come on! Don't die yet. Oh, I think it's going to be a choice between one or the other. And, oh no, I can heal both. Beautiful. That made all the difference, I reckon. No! Bad click. Yeah, not getting a lot of haste here, which is pretty rubbish, all things considered. I suspect I can't beat him. from here. Yep, okay, it's another one down. And you're running away, this is the end. Well, that wasn't pretty. And nope, not fighting those podlings again. Let's continue on and pretend that never happened. So down here we have the south West Wasteland. I would like to finish anything in this area first. It doesn't involve that particular thing. Looks like there's not very much. Oh, War Trolls. That could be a problem. This is a definite combat heavy episode. If anyone is not a fan of combat, you may want to just skip over this one. I know it can get quite tedious at times. But I'm sure we'll manage. Drop a haste. Oh, exploding. I 
Didn't realise that. They're pretty powerful, these war trolls. I wonder if I can get any of my own. I wonder if, actually, if I think about it, Let's have a quick look at my skills. So if I were to bump up battle shaping, it's quite cheap to begin with. So I will get maybe this level and the one after. Hmm, I wonder, actually, you know, I really wonder if it's worthwhile getting battle shaping. I, where are my abilities? Here we go. I have battle shaping clawback. So I can make a Rotgroth. I can't get a war troll just yet. But I can get a Rotgroth. Rot Rotgroth. I don't know how to pronounce that. If I get one of them. You know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it to level seven, I think will allow me to create a war troll. I may not get one just yet, but when I do get war trolls, I'll put this level in the next level, and that hopefully is enough. It may need one more level after that to get to level seven. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a balanced party. We'll see how it goes. If not, well, I'm not really losing anything. So let's start going south. Okay, we have ourselves a servile army. You don't get to explore long before you find out this area is under firm rebel control. There is a pack of savage serviles watching the road, constantly on the hunt for intruders. It didn't take them long to see you. They are short, stocky, muscular creatures. Their ancestors were surely miners and labourers, not scribes and sweet street sweepers. They are decorated with thick networks of tattoos and tribal scars. When they get close to you, they raise their batons as one. They are moments from firing. One of them, maybe their leader, or maybe someone who felt like being cautious, says, You are intruder. We know no you. The intruder dies. Final word. Uh, I have the amulets. This gets their attention. Some of them lower their batons slightly. Others look confused. The servile walks up and looks at the amulet. Then he returns to the group. I have heard of that. Of amulet. An amulet somewhere. Maybe this one. Or... Maybe it's fake. Maybe you trick us. It's no trick. Goldring has invited me. So you say. But these islands, we not do all Goldring says. Out of respect for dracons, we give you life. We count five. You leave our lands by then we not shoot. This is deal. <laughs> you best run now. Um, yep, let's use the long wordy suggestion. Let's use our speech. The talking servile does not seem impressed by this. The others, however, seem far more nervous. There is a brief, intense consultation. Finally, the servile says, uh, You may pass. Quickly. Do not be slow. You in our lands much longer. <laughs> we hunt. He points to the east. Fastest way to Kazukius. That way. Okay. If you attack me, you are pretty much all going to die. I don't think... Mine's still of leash. Let's go the other direction. Ooh. Um, popular. Um, well, damn. I wonder if... I'll take the Spectral of leash out first. They seem to be a bit weaker. I may be able to take them out easily. Ah, oh, not quite. Oh well, I'll get at this. Okay, that's that one down. Uh, how about we throw... some spores down and a... war blessing on everyone. God, 
Those things are annoying. Good, level up. Uh, nearly. Um, I think we'll focus on the Spectral of Leash for now. Good, one hit. There we go, a bit of haste and we have done it. Um, everyone else I think will need a regen aura. Well it seems to be getting a lot less effective as the game goes on. Maybe it does an amount rather than the percentage of health. In which case I may have to pick a new aura at some point in the future. Ah, oh, nope. And we barely got it despite the misclick. Um, health B on you, and we're good again. I've leashed Tentacle might be nice, although I don't really have the space for it. Let's just use a healing pot on myself. And then we can grab that Lish Tentacle. And nothing spectacular in there. Um, oh, I think we can just go straight out. There we go. Let's head back to Pericalia. I'm going to grab a... I'm going to do a bit of shopping before I end this episode. Just sell off all my stuff. And rearrange anything. See what I need to do. Because I think I'm tired of battling for this episode. It's been nearly 20 minutes of solid fighting. And as much as I do enjoy this game, the tactics can get old after a while. Uh, can I sell you something? Get rid of that crappy crystal. Platinum ring I will keep. Because I think I've got a Dracon's tentacle somewhere. Ah, uh, Dracon's scale somewhere. That I can do something with. Uh, Vlish Tentacle will... that'll go. Ruined Onyx will also go. Girdle of Life would be nice, but... You can go. Little Orb of Mist can also go. Okay, let's have a look what we've got now. Things are looking a little bit better. Yeah, actually I've forgotten where I put all my stuff. I've actually I've completely forgotten. It's been more than a month, so I have stored it somewhere. And I'm not sure exactly where I've stored it. So how about I just make a new stockpile somewhere? Now I think it was Rockfall had the um oh no 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 okay that's the guy that i fought last time finally found him so there's a lot of dracons out here so fort rockfall i think has a um mm, yeah this must have a thing down here So this will be the, I've forgotten the word, the anvil. The anvil will be in here. And I can't get access to the yeah, anvil chamber. So what I'll do is I'll drop everything on the ground here. Uh, I don't particularly need that just yet. Infiltrator cloak would be nice, so I will keep it. Mechanics, mechanics, and mechanics. That should put me up to about 15 mechanics total. Passage stone is just junk at the moment, but I will still keep it. Uh, I wish I knew where all my Dracon scales were. This one I really don't end up using, do I? Strength and Dexterity is... I'm not going to sell it just yet in case I do need it. But I think you can go back down for a moment. And these things can be used. 
if I ever actually remember to use them, that's the problem. Curing pod. How about I put that thing up there? Try and start using them up a bit. Okay, that's this one done. Now I wonder if... Nah, you know, I'm actually going to call this episode here. I'm not going to go out and bother fighting that bloke. We are going to end it off, and I'm going to have a bit of a rest. I think I... Uh, <clears throat> I think I'm tired of this game for the time being. So I have been BLX. This has been Gene Forge 5. It has been a very combat heavy episode. If you like that, then feel free to click that thumbs up button. And if you don't enjoy it and you prefer more of the story ones, then drop a comment and let me know what sort of story things you prefer. And as always, take care.